What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to unbox a cheap HSP drift car. It's one ten scale and it's got a brush motor on that but it didn't cost very much. So I figured I'd just buy it and see what it's like. Because it's fairly cheap. So let's get this over and have a look. See what we got. It's a box inside of a box as usual. that out of the way. Let's get it open. Oh, it's not really sharp. We just about to buy it the right way. Okay. Comes with a bunch of stickers. Details. Don't know if I'm going to put any of them on. This little charger that comes with and your parts manual and some instructions and whatnot. Standard HSP transmitter. Bigger than I thought it was going to be. Never had a drift car before, so I didn't really know what to expect. Shell seems decent. Alright. It's actually, it weighs quite a bit. Not going to lie. Hard plastic wheels. As I said, this is a brushed version because I plan on putting a motor and ESC in it for 3S. Right, let's get you guys down and have a closer look. So, as you can see, it's got an aluminum um, brace. There's an aluminum drive shaft here. I'm assuming all the gears are plastic. So why wouldn't it be? What else? Metal drive shafts. Front and rear. Diffs are not locked. Don't know how much it's going to affect it. Seems pretty smooth and whatnot. And as you can see, it's a um, brush motor, ESC. Standard, but we'll probably just switch them out anyways. Other than that, though, it looks pretty solid. What is this? Take the battery out to find out. Just take that out and have a look at what that is. Uh. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says this ESC is designed and operated with a 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride, I think that is. But last time I checked, this ESC does have, say, 2 to 3 S Wi-Fi capable. So I don't know. I don't know. I might have to look into that. Um, I'm gonna get this battery charged now. I'm gonna give her a little test, I suppose. 
before I do that actually, the only thing not included in this kit, if I can get the bottom open, is 8 AA batteries. Just so you guys know. Let's give her a test and see if she works first. Not first, but give it a test before I go put it on the ground and whatnot. Okay, battery's on. ESC, well, the switch is off. Control on. Let's hope it doesn't take off. Actually, I'm gonna check the trends. Yep, they're all good. Let's turn it on. It's alive. It's certainly not powerful. But with these hard plastic wheels, it should be alright. Alright, let's get on the ground and see how it goes. Definitely does not have enough power. Oh, it does. I'm sure it can't drive. Yeah, I'm just bad driving it. It's not the ideal space for driving it either. So as you'd have seen, it did pretty good. I uh, can't really drive it to be honest. I've never really driven a drift car, but it did pretty good. Um, has plenty of power, I guess, to do what it needs to do on these plastic wheels. If you can drive them, you could probably do it better than I could at least. But I mean, it's a pretty good car for a beginner who wants to get into drifting because there's plenty of options available. You can put a brushless system in it or something. They're not very expensive, but they're like 50 bucks for a 3S system, which I might do actually, because I'm more of a brushless person. But anyways, uh, that's all I got for today. Um, we'll probably get it out for a video soon, hopefully. Been really busy with work, so hopefully I can get it out. And I will order a brushless system, and I will probably run this on 3S. And we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, catch you in the next video.